Greetings. Hello. Just give it a second if the audio is lagging to catch up with the video. Hi, my friends. Welcome. My name's Frosty and welcome to The Joy of Pouring. A big shout out. So first of all, big shout out. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, big shout out, yes, exactly, right to you, Christine. <laughs> big shout out to Christine, big shout out to Deirdre and anybody else that was uh, that isn't one of my friends, obviously, and I don't manage a group with them in the live chat. Thank you so much, guys. It really does. Uh, it fills my heart when people are waiting for the show because that means actually people are interested, which is great. Anyway, hi there, hi. So welcome to my show, the, uh, our show, sorry. Oh, Christine. <laughs> Thank you so much, Christine, for those stickers, darling. Yeah, it's already in the post. You didn't need to do that, though. We were fine, sweetie, but thank you so much. Christine um, uh, won the live auction last week, and she snagged that lovely piece. If you want to see what she won, please watch the show from last week. Anyway, so hi there, guys. Hi there. It's me, Nutter Frosty, here. Uh, uh, and we are also part of the Acrylic Crazy Train, which is a global uh, acrylic premiere YouTube global ride around the world uh, put together by my dear, lovely friends and family from our group on Facebook, uh, The Acrylic Crazy Train. Sorry, I'm just having to let my brain catch up with my mouth or vice versa. Let me just have a quick little drink. Yes, we are. I am part of the acrylic crazy train and the next stop on the acrylic crazy train is one of the people that will probably be in the live chat right now or joining us soon is my brother from another mother it's darren aka wombat from venom fluid art so from here in joy of pouring we're going to new south wales in australia for venom fluid art then after darren we're going to my dearly beloved my lovely number one fan uh, Christy and Creations by Christy. And we're coming back from New South Wales all the way to Illinois in North America. Then after the lovely darling Christy, we've got Sheldon Briscoe from Shell Rock Arts, our dear brother again, another, uh, another admin uh, from our group, the Acrylic Crazy Train. Oh, Janet, thank you so much. You love me. <laughs> I appreciate that sticker so much and I haven't even got to that bit. Anyway, so after uh, Sheldon, we, the, and Sheldon is in Maryland, and after Sheldon, we go around to Texas for Britt Clayton from Britt Clayton Designs, our lovely dear Britt. And then after Britt, our, ca our caboose is back, the wonderful, lovely Lance from Pouring Together with Lance Travis. Oh, and Lance is in North Carolina. And that's where our crazy train will end today, my friends. Uh, but please stay with it to the end because we have some fantastic premieres from, from so, for fantastic premieres from some amazing artists coming up after the show right here. Okay, so that was the introductions, which has been fantastic. Quick little one, please guys, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. When you subscribe, you can also interact in this live chat, which is lots of fun here. You can uh, like and comment on my videos, which is always great, give me some feedback. And, uh, 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 and yes, it's just much easier for you guys to interact if you do subscribe to my channel and the other people's channels so you're in their live chats too. Okay, so sorry, I got a little bit off topic and my ma ma mind is a little bit scattered. So quickly, super chat and super stickers as we've seen a few stickers already come around there from the, oh my gosh, <laughs> Heather, thank you so much, Rainbow Bean and from uh, Lamb Bean with us. So good to see you online, Lamb Bean. Thank you for joining us. These are the really o OG beans, really. Uh, shout out to Deirdre as well. And of course, Christine for her sticker she already sent. So the stickers and super chats, right? What that is, is in the bottom right hand corner of where you type in your message in the live chat, there's a little dollar sign. If you click on that, it will take you to a page of stickers with different denominations and you can purchase a sticker, write a little message in it and then send it to me. Uh, and then obviously the denominations you're actually kind of donating to the channel, which is fantastic. It's two reasons why we ask you to do this. Number one, it helps us uh, support and hopefully when we finally save up enough money, get another camera so we can have dual view views. But it also helps us buy some materials and more importantly helps us with the shipping where we keep sending things out. So again, thank you, Christine, for sending us that sticker. That's fantastic. So that's Super Chat and Super Stickers. Uh, now, uh, 
Last little quick one, kind of last little quick one. We have Facebook stores. Uh, I have a Facebook store, so does Britt Clayton from Britt Clayton Design. I believe Sheldon's is almost up and running and I believe Christie's is too. And Darren has one as well. And I forgot to mention the lovely Bridget. Uh, I'm not sure if Bridget's gonna be with us today because she's got some family commitments. Oh, Deirdre, thank you so much, you darling. Thank you, that's so kind of you, Deirdre. Um, Yes, Bridget might not be with us in the live chat because she has some family commitments this weekend. So we miss her dearly. We send her love. Oh, George and Joyous Bean, thank you, my dear. Thank you so much. Uh, it's ever so kind of you. So, yes, hopefully Bea will be with us later or back next week. Okie dokie. This was supposed to be, or is going to be rather, how to use stencils over your paws, or more to the point, how I use my stencils over my paws. One second. Now, the first thing is, I make my stencils myself. I get a, a photograph. Oh, um, Catherine Evans, thank you so much, Catherine. That was so kind of you. Thank you for that sticker. Um, yes, how to use your stencils over acrylic pores. I make my stencils myself. I'm, um, I used to be a graphic designer many years ago, and I have an old laptop with a version of Photoshop on it. And in that, I get in, I use pictures, photographs, and then I turn them black and white, and I separate them into their different kind of colors, block colors as such. And then I cut those out of stencils, and I layer the stencils on top of each other. And that's what makes us these pretty little things. And it was gonna go and show you guys how to make this little guy. Here we go. Yeah, little Grogu. Uh, his name's Grogu, or Baby Yoda is no boy. Oh, Lily, thank you so much, Lily. Uh, and he's from the recent, um, uh, Mandalorian series on uh, Disney and it's absolutely fantastic big hit I made a few of these for the festival we were at uh, month, uh, last month this month last month uh, and we sold them all so he's very popular indeed so we're gonna learn how I make this okay so let's adjust get the camera pointing down da, 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 da. bingo oh and look what we have here oh What's this, you may ask? Why, <laughs> fussy? It is um, last, last, last week's canvas, I believe. This was from the um, this was from the weekend when uh, I had COVID, or the rem remnants of it uh, was not feeling great. But I pushed through and tried to make it. So this is the galaxy pour or uh, the funnel pour from uh, that weekend. And if you would like to, oh, sorry, I didn't introduce Christy who's in my ear. I'm ever so sorry, Christy, darling. No, oh, bless her, Christy says in my ear, it turned out really pretty for you being so sick. I do remember saying at the time, if it doesn't come out nice, I'm gonna have a trouble not being Mr. Poopy Pants about it. But anyway, it came out really beautiful, didn't it, Christy? Thank you so much. I hope you guys uh, agree at home. Let us know in the live chat what you think. And I shall tell you what you have to do to win this little puppy, okay? Uh, it's gonna be just back to me for um, uh, just this week. I'm gonna ask you to watch video on my channel, video number 74. Uh, if you've already seen it, please don't worry, just press play and uh, watch it again. And then as usual, please comment love in there and uh, I will pick a uh, winner at random and they will receive this. And hopefully if I get my new resin in time, I shall be able to put a coat of resin on it for you and it will really look pretty pretty spectacular with that. So here we go, yes, please watch my video number 74 in its entirety to help me build my uh, watch down. Uh, because I haven't released a video for about a month and just been doing these lives, uh, my, uh, my analytics have ta taken a hit and taken a bit of a downturn. So I need you guys to watch my last video that didn't, too, didn't do too well. So please, number 74, comment, uh, love is number 74. It's a modified 10 inch round or how to do frosty mods if you're just looking at the little thumbnail and you can win this puppy. Just please comment love. So there we go. Oh, 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 oh sneaky frosty. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> okay, so let's just have a look at there we go. Hang on. Let's just get the da, 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 da. Let's get the camera pointing out for this one. Let's show you the dried results from last week. Now, I'm sorry, let's get rid of the glare of the, of the light ring. There we go, and we're just gonna have the glare of kind of like a bit of a window and the lights above, but here we go. Sorry, Christy, what was that, my dear? Oh, 
bless her. Christy says it's so pretty, it's gorgeous. We just get in there and you can see see the ball gown and the uh, twi uh, uh, twinkle doing their magic there, just kind of a bit subtle. And then in that bottom corner, bam, look at all that gold. Oh, <laughs> Lambing, thank you so much, my dear. That's so kind of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, so anyway, yes, here we go. And a lot of you guys said, uh, don't, don't wreck it. And even our beloved Rom Wombat was like, no, nah, mate, you've got to leave that. Don't wreck that. And that's the one that really floored us all. It was incredible that Wombat said that. So I left it. And there you go. Here are the dried results. Now, it's quite interesting. You see, now I'm going to pick it apart a little bit. But you see these kind of little uh, inclusions here where we've got these kind of weird lines in the rings where the rings are kind of, kind of a little bit modified as such. This is actually little tiny bits, see if I can get in nice and close, little tiny bits of crud in the paint. Now obviously when I was tilting it, they don't move too well. They were stuck at the bottom and then they create this nice little dragging effect. So really makes it look like agate, really. I think it looks like agate. But anyway, yeah, everybody said, no, you can't, you can't spray on that. You, you can't wreck that. It's way too pretty. So there we go, guys. So... Let's just get the camera pointing down. Da, da, da. And here we go. These are the colors that I use to make the stencil. So first of all, I do the background of this color, which is like a mid gray and it's called shark. And then I do the highlights first, oh, straight on top of that rather, with not an, a hard white, it's a soft off white and this one's called Jaws. And the brand is uh, Montana Black spray paint and I get it from my locally owned art store. And then we do the uh, shadows in this color, which is a, a dark gray called Rhino. And then we finish off with the outline and a bit of detail with this. It's not black. I don't like using black in my, pour, in my spray paint because it's just a little too harsh. So I use this beautiful deep, 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 dark red, like a really super rich and ripe cherry, as it's called. <laughs> So, let me just get the stencils, guys. So, the first thing I would kind of do with this, let's move it out a little bit so you can get a bit better of a view. There we go, lovely. Da, da, da. Let's get those out of the way. Over here, I think. Drew's here. Oh, is Drew in the live chat? Yeah. Oh, my friend Drew is there. <laughs> Hang one second. Hi, Drew. <laughs> Vanna. Yeah, Drew, we call, we call Sean. Sean's, Sean's alias in the show is uh, Vanna Swipe. Just like, obviously, Vanna White. But, um, yeah, Vanna Swipe, because that's one of the techniques we use. Um, lovely to see you there. Thank you so much uh, uh, for, for joining us there, Drew. Absolutely lovely. And, of course, a huge thank, thank you and shout out to everybody that's in the live chat and everybody that's watching. Thank you for your, dis for, thank you for your support. So, let's get, again, let's get the camera just pointing down. There we go. So, there we can see the whole canvas. Now, what I would ordinarily do is kind of figure out, this is kind of like an outline of the little guy, as you can see. And I would kind of just sort of position the little guy like this. And then, this is the shark, the spray paint that we would put over it, okay guys? So then I just very carefully position this stencil. And this is gonna be the background, the background color for little Grogu or Baby Yoda, or whatever you'd like to call him. Now, I've just lost one of the things out my ears. It's okay, darling. Bingo, so you saw what I did there, guys? Oh, you probably didn't, sorry. My fingers are here, I am so sorry. So, I held down the stencil that I put on the front, on the top, and I just gently slid the positioning stencil, oh, this one, out from underneath us. Okay then, so this kind of gives us a, oh, this kind of gives us a nice area to work with and what we're going to actually start spraying on top of. So we're going to use the shark first. And don't worry, I know you think, you know, I'm going to spray paint in the house. The cat's being put in the bedroom, all the windows are open, it's fine. So 
we're going to get the background on this one, okay? You ready? <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm being a little bit mean and I'm tricking you. No, I'm not going to spray a stencil on this one. <laughs> this is far too, far too pretty to, uh, to put a Grogu on. Although I did kind of put him on there and all of these lines around him looked fantastic. And I might do another one of these to uh, put him on there. Sorry for tricking you guys if you thought I was going to start to spray this one. I thought it would be funny. Um, and that's, yeah. Anyway, so there we go, guys. Yeah. Da, 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 da. No, 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 no. We're not going to spray it on that one. So let me just go through and show you. Let's just get the camera pointing down for a second. Oh. Yeah, that's to say, I've lost the second one out of my ears. So, one second, friends. There we go. Okay, friends, so how do I get... Oop, let me just take it out a little bit further. How do I make this little guy, okay? He's ever so cute, isn't he? So, what we do is we use a stencil to do the background in, as I said, to do the shark like this and we spray the shark so he's just one color and this sign is just one color at the top okay well so that's the shark that we use first then hi christy you back in my ear my love hi there christy sorry for sorry for kind of yeah so then i would spray i would spray the uh, white highlight stencil so we just need to, da, 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 there it is, and then we spray the highlights, and I spray kind of low lights on the bottom, I don't make it too solid on the bottom of him, but on the top I try to make the white a little bit more solid. And as I said, it's white, but it's a spray paint that's just off-white, and one that's called Jaws. One second, friends, I just need to have a sip of water. Is everything going fine in the chat room, ladies? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, so this would then be the highlights, okay, my friends? So then I take that one off. These are all of oh, the white, obviously, bits are the highlights that we just put on there with the, with the white stencil, okay? Then after the white, we're going to do all of these darker grey, the rhino paint, or rhino colour it's called, there we go, the dark grey. And with that one we're going to do all of these shadows, like under his chin, in his ear a little bit, under his arm that's outstretched holding a little totem. And I've just got to get the white stencil out. I do hope this is interesting to you ladies, and you're, uh, well not just ladies, but uh, interesting to you guys, and you're finding it uh, uh, educational and entertaining <laughs> with me waffling and prattling on. Um, prattling, that's prattling, there's a new one. Prattling, oh, prattling on. Waffling on, prattling on. Um, but yes, this is the stencil that I then use, as I said, with the darker rhino paint. So spray, 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 spray. And then you'll see his eyes just here are, oh, let me show you the stencil. His eyes are just a different colour. So his eyes, uh, the depth in his eyes, I sprayed back in with the initial colour, which was the shark. So he's got, so his eyes are now highlighted, which obviously, yeah, well, uh, sorry, they uh, are given depth with that little bit of the background colour there. And then, finally, the last stage of the stencils, there's actually one, two, three, four, five, and six, if you actually count a positioning stencil as well, uh, to actually make this little guy. And uh, last but not least, to get all the black and the definition, we use the black stencil. Da, da, da. There we go. And this just adds all the kind of depth and the, the dark, darker shadows to the stencil that it has. And then, bingo, 
we are left with this little guy. Da, 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 da. Let's just pull it out a bit further. Here we go. And we're left with this little guy here. Okay, isn't he cute? So, let me just... Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Christy. Yeah, Christy says, yes, he's cute. So, yeah, this was just... Oh, fan fantastic. Christy says she never knew how I did these stencils, so she just learned something there. And I sincerely hope you guys did too. <laughs> so, that's uh, the little guy. And this is like a test, uh, test spray stencil, trying to figure out the colours and the depth uh, and the greys to use to actually get him... To, uh, to look as good as he is right now. So you might remember that I showed you another paw just on the whim uh, last week when everyone was saying, no, 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 no. You cannot, like when Wombat said you don't wreck this, I was really flawed and everyone didn't want me to do anything to it. And I think it's pretty, so I didn't. Um, but I had another one that I showed you quickly. And here we go, guys. In the, in the true Blue Peter fashion, anyone from England will know what Blue Peter is. It's an old school kids program where they'd teach you arts and crafts and they'd always say, and here's what I made earlier. So here we go, guys. I think I might need to actually just push the camera out a little bit more. Wow. So yes, here we go, guys. Here is the little finished Grogu or Baby Yoda. He is really lovely. Now, you might say, what's the little totem for? The little totem with the little sign that says really good. Um, totems are poles that people make uh, for the festival that we go to. And they're lit up various ways with different little banners and sayings on them and stuff. Uh, and it's a way for their friends, if they go off, to find their other friends, find the group that they're in. It's quite a good idea, because you can see these totems from, you know, clear across the dance floor. It's pretty good. Uh, and this was one made uh, about, I think, probably 18, maybe 20 years ago or so. Yeah, when the festival was in its infancy. Uh, and it was uh, made, uh, made by a great guy, a DJ. Um, and he saw posts of uh, the Grogu's that I sold at Shambhala on the Shambhala website on the message board and it's actually him I believe the story goes he actually made the sign for a friend's set or a friend of his made the sign really good for his set because he's a DJ he's a producer and everything uh, and I figured well wouldn't it be nice just to make him one and send it to him and this is what we've got right here so you can see the beautiful effects we're getting from the from the uh, TLP pigments we did the pour with. Like, just really fantastic. So pretty. And yes, I think I might actually put a coat of resin on that because it will make the background sing absolutely so beautifully. And then we're going to send it off to him as a surprise because he doesn't know he's going to get it. I managed to get his DJ, his uh, address rather, um, from our connections with the festival, they trusted me um, and they thought it was a lovely idea to make this for him and send it to him. So there you go guys, here's one I made earlier. I hope you like it very much and I will uh, resin it as soon as it's ready and uh, either show it to you or definitely take a video when it's resin so you guys can see. Okay. Oh, thank you, Ben. Fantastic. Oh, yes, excellent. Thank you, my dear. Vanner is just... He knows what now? Oh. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, Wombat. Oh, Wombat, darling. Do you think I'm... <laughs> Sorry, Christy's just been speaking in my ear. There's a lovely Vanner. Hi, Vanner. Um... Christy, Christy has been speaking to me in my ear, um, saying that Wombat, Aka Venom from Venom Fluid Art, has uh, said, oh, that's so kind, you know, you're going to send it to me, but you ruined the surprise now. I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> Can you imagine, though, how much something that size and then resined to make really heavy? Could you imagine how much, how much this, papa, pu this puppy would weigh? to be sent all the way to Australia. Wow, I remember I, I sent a, uh, I believe it was an 18, uh, 18 by 20 inch canvas I sent to my friend in Brisbane 
and it cost way over 250 Canadian dollars just to send it to him and it took forever too and when it arrived it was slightly damaged not too bad but yeah could you imagine how much this would be to send to Australia but I'm just seeing it in the screen actually it does <laughs> It, it, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Please let us know what you think about it, uh, what do you think of it in the live chat, my friends. So, oh, there we go, yes. Right, chitty chat, chitty chat, chat. Waffling on and prattling on at the same time. Right, I just need to get my towel and just mop my brow. Oh, I could have had Vanna do this for you. Vanna brow, brow. <laughs> Christy, yeah, that would have been good. Christy's really laughing in my ear now, guys. She thinks that's a, she thinks that's a pretty great idea. So, were there any questions? <coughs> Excuse me. Were there any questions or anything like that about the stencils or about the pores or anything like that uh, that I may have missed or that someone was burning to ask or that you guys in the live chat haven't already cleared up? Great. Christy says in my ear, she doesn't think so. All the questions have been answered. And, oh, uh, this is coming. Oh, no. Hi, hi, Christy. Did I just disconnect that? Hi, Christy. Oh, so, yeah, I accidentally just touched the corner of this. And whenever I do that, it usually disconnects the call. Yeah. You know, it... <laughs> just a bit of sticky tape across it glue. yeah glue Vanna says glue thanks guys for the suggestions of uh, gluing these things to my head that's great awesome so we kind of I went through the whoosh went through the uh, introductions and everything like that really quite quickly um, and uh, through the actual uh, the, the whole mean for the live this this week of how I use my stencils over pause. So we've kind of got a bit of free time. <gasps> Ooh, what should we do? So I have planned for exactly this. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't take me long to waffle through all of that. But what we are going to do is uh, we're going to do a swipe because I haven't done a swipe in a while. And Vanna loves them. And Vanna loves them, of course, hence her name, Vanna Swipe. So I have some colours mixed up um, from, some of you may have seen on, sorry, Christy says eye candy, you get eye candy, oh yes, yeah, 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 we're going to make some eye candy, hopefully we're going to make some eye candy. Some of you guys, sorry, Christy's chit-chatting in my ear, I do apologise guys, I'm trying to remember. No, 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 don't say sorry, Christy, whenever she chats into my ear, I must go quiet and then tell you guys she's chatting in my ear, this is what she said, so yeah, she's, yeah, anyway, brilliant. So you guys may have seen on social media, on our uh, group on Facebook, the Acrylic Crazy Train, uh, a little video of a swipe and a modification that I did on a 10 inch round. And I still have got some of the colours left, which are all right here. And amazingly, even despite this heat, they're all moving exactly the same. And they're going to be pretty great, I believe, to do a swipe with. So the colours we've got here are, this is a Rust-Oleum Goldmine. And we've got Nebula by TLP. We've got our lovely favourite, Comet by TLP. Uh, this is PBO uh, Iridescent Red Blue and uh, I didn't think it had enough power to it, enough punch, so I added some um, uh, Interference Blue by TLP, the Velvet I added to this, so it gave it a bit more wow factor. And then this one, my friends, this is the Prism Violet, with Liquitex Prism Violet. But this one is, in, yeah, Christy says, woohoo, she loves the purple. Uh, who doesn't? You've got to be crazy if you don't love purple. But, you know, sorry, not crazy, sorry, Mama. Mum watches, Mama-in-law watches, and she doesn't like purple. And she didn't get, uh, didn't appreciate being called crazy. So, Mama, you're not crazy. Some people, some people just don't like purple. It's not in her bag at all whatsoever. Anyway, so, and this is the Liquitex um, uh, acrylic gouache, okay? Now, this is the semi-opaque version, and because I was using a black pillow, that's what was helping this show up on the actual black pillow because it's uh, semi-opaque. So if I were to use the other 
uh, prism violet I have right here, bingo, bingo. It is transparent completely, as you can see, by the little empty square. So if we were to use this on a black pillow, and you just don't see it, it disappears completely, really, in the black pillow. That's the reason for using the gouaches and the uh, uh, opaque uh, and semi-opaque paints, because they will actually, you know, they've... Okay, one second, Christy is just asking me a question. Hello, darling. Ah, Lily Burns. Hi there, Lily. Lily's just uh, asked, asked a question in the live chat, uh, and she mixed up some paints last week, and uh, she wants to know how long they should last for. All right, now, this is all based on uh, your humidity, your environment, the temperature inside the house, the weather, and all this kind of uh, variables affect the uh, consistency of your paints. However, if you mixed up the pots so they were uh, pretty full, and it's an airtight container, there's only a small amount of air there that can uh, help the water inside the paints evaporate. So you should be pretty good for a couple of weeks. As I said, these ones I mixed up, uh, I believe it was in the middle of last week, I think. And let me just show you, there we go. You can see how it moves really nicely. See, see it crawling up the edge of the, crawling up the edge of the actual, Brilliant. So you can see the viscosity or the uh, thickness of this uh, is, uh, these are still in the range of usability, should be pretty good, Lily. So uh, if you've used, say, half of them and you leave them for more than a week uh, and they seem a little bit thicker, I would just add a few drops of water at a time while gently mixing and that should actually give them a, a bit more life and rejuvenate your old paints. So I hope that answer was okay, Lily. Uh, and thank you again for the sticker you sent earlier. I'm pretty sure I saw you did. Thank you so much. And thank you everybody that sent stickers uh, in support of uh, our uh, show, The Joy of Pouring, and then obviously, you know, staying on for the acrylic crazy chain. Thank you, guys. Okay, so I've just got to give these little guys a little bit of a stir up. So let's just, oh, there we go. Get the camera pointing down, and we will just get this stirred. They have been sitting for a few days. Let's get in a little bit closer. There we go. Oh, oh, sorry guys for moving the camera around on you like that. So here's our paints, here's some stir sticks, and I will show you the consistency and how it looks so a little gentle a little stir we don't want to stir in too many bubbles because we're, they've been sitting for a good few days all the little air bubbles have come out so there you go guys there is the consistency still see it's drizzling nicely there you go how's that christy does that look good perfect <laughs> christy says it's beautiful because <laughs> she loves purple. Okay, let's see if we can get some camaraderie in the live chat um, for, for people like my dearly, my lovely mum-in-law, Lim. Uh, see if there's anybody else in the live chat that doesn't actually care for purple that much. But let me just show you the Rust-Oleum. <laughs> Christy says, if anyone says anything, I'll kick them out. <laughs> Bless you, Christy. She's joking, everyone. So there you go, guys. There's the uh, rust oleum. Okay, so now let's mix it up because we've only got a little bit of the, of the um, nebula, maybe about just possibly under an ounce. And because the nebula has pigment in it, mica, they do settle over a few days, it will settle to the bottom and you'll just end up with a really thick kind of layer of the micas right at the bottom of the pot and it does need to be just gently agitated. And I mean really gently because we don't want to stir too many bubbles into our colors because they've just been sitting nicely and they don't have any bubbles in them at the moment. So there we go guys. Oh, there's the consistency of the nebula still drizzling beautifully. And now, da, 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 let's get on with this. So this one is the, um, the comet. Dear, beautiful, lovely comet. 
I just, I've tried using all of the other, uh, nearly all of the other uh, interference pigments, but uh, it's, it's the Comet and the Twinkle. They were one of the first things I ordered from uh, the Fluid Art Co. Uh, there we go, Fluid Art Co. If you're wonder where, wondering where uh, you get the pour, the pour mats, this is it, Fluid Art dash uh, fluid dash art dot co uh, and they ship all around the world they're a fantastic new small company with a fantastic business business ethic and they're lovely to deal with and they make beautiful pigments other people do too and their pigments are also beautiful no prejudices here so that was the uh, the comment now i'm just going to give the pbo iridescent blue red blue a little stir just because as I said I put some velvet in and velvet has pigment micas and uh, the, pig, uh, the micas sink uh, there we go so bing 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 da 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 and it's only over time that they sink guys you know any pigments actually will um, just because of the nature of uh, fluid dynamics and viscosity, if we want to get clever about it. So here we go, there's the purple, we're just gonna give that a little tap, because taps with the little paints help the bubbles come out. There we go. And a nice little tap on the PBO, still some bubbles in the twinkle. There we go. And another little tap, brilliant. So that's that, great. Let's just move the camera in a little bit. Da, da, da. Oh, and let me just get it straight. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. There we go, excellent. So here is our spinner board. I'm gonna bring you out a little bit further, guys. My uh, spinner is mounted. Here's my spinner, ding ding. It's the, I think it's about 60, 70 bucks from Amazon. It's the aluminium cake spinner. It has great bearings in it, spins beautifully. And as you can see, I have stuck it to a 20 inch square piece of MDF board. And you wanna line corner to corner because this is what helps you line uh, your art and your canvas up with the spinner. So you spin it evenly all the time and you don't get canvases flying off or anything like that sorry guys for keep moving the camera on you so here we go we could just get the corners to corners bing here we go and now we know we're nicely in the center and there we go oh and he goes and hits it as it spins so anyway let me just line that back up and there we go. So, excitement, excitement. I don't know why I'm speaking in French, but ooh, the color to go in the white. Oh, I haven't had it for years. I finally managed to get some from the local Sherwin-Williams. It is our favored, let me get the camera pointing, uh, camera a bit closer in on the canvas now. It is our preferred pillow, and it's just so fantastic. Not beautiful that. So I'm going to use, hopefully, no more than really on here. We don't want more than about four ounces of the pillow because we're hopefully going to do a minimalist swipe, okay? And we're going to use a white pillow rather than black. So, da, 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 da. Oh, it's so thick and lovely. Here we go. Right, that's... Oh, Christy just says the last one you got was really thin, was it, Christy? Ooh. Well, that's not cricket, is it? <laughs> no, she said. Sorry for the alarming bang, guys. Uh, just banging some of the pillow, uh, some of the bubbles out of the pillow there, and I'm just going to add just a little bit more because there's one thing worse than uh, not uh, using too much paint. And that's not using enough paint. Oh, wow, this is a big goober in here too. So I'm gonna have to just pick this out. Oh, there we go. Is it still in there? Yeah, oh, come here, you. Oh, look at that, big snot, we don't want that. 
That's why it was so thick, yes. Well, no, it's just the um, pots in transit, I guess, they just, uh, they get a bit shook and um, a little bit of paint gets on the, on the lid and around the top of the actual, here we go, around the top of the inside and that naturally dries uh, because it will because it's got a small amount of paint, a uh, small amount of air locked in with it in the lid. And uh, that's how the paint dries with air exposure. And it makes these little ugly, horrible snot rocket things. So I'm just going to give this a little spin. Da -da -da -da. Excellent. And now I'm just going to actually give it a little tilt and just get it covering the edge everywhere. Oh, this is lovely and thick. OK, thank you, Vanna. Right, so I am just going to da -da -da, da -da -da, just get these bits. Can you turn off the fan? Thank you, Diana. Excellent. I do apologize, guys. Sorry, the fan was going here in the kitchen, and you may be able to hear the drone of another fan upstairs. As I've said, we're just desperately trying to keep our, our house cool because it's uh, rather hot up here on the mountain. It's getting unseasonably hot, which is uh, a little bit strange because it never used to get this hot. Um, when I came here, well, 13 years ago. But anyway, that's another chitty chat, waffly story. So, there we go, my friends. So I'm just gonna give it another tap because I can see there's some little bubbles in there. And bingo, we are ready to do this swipe. So we are going to use the gold first. Thank you, Vanna, for clearing up there. So we're going to do a minimus swipe. Remember, guys, you only want to go small. You don't want to use a lot of uh, a, a lot of colours. You know your paints. If you want to, I would like to end up with some negative space here, guys. And when we spin it out, we know anything we put any closer to the edge, we're definitely going to lose. So here we go. Now we're going in with the beautiful nebula, which is this dark kind of charcoal kind of colour with a fantastic uh, blue-green interference to it, which is, is pretty much pretty something else. So, excellent. Then we're going to use uh, TLP, the Comet. Excellent. Let's be a little bit more generous with Comet, because we love Comet. Now, you noticed I'm not putting any uh, lines outside of this for the frosty mods because we're not going to modify it. We're going to do a old school swipe as one I haven't done for a while where we swipe out this way and then we swipe out that way diagonally across the across the canvas. Haven't done one for a long time and figured it would be a fun thing to do. So that's again the other reason why I'm not using uh, a ton of colours. I'm trying to, uh, like I said, I wanted some negative space. But uh, I got confused by saying that because uh, I don't want negative space because I'm going to do the swipe either side. But what I do want is a lovely kind of fade of the colours out through the swipes. And hopefully on this lovely white pillow, we'll get some lovely, beautiful kind of stained glass kind of effect. A little more of the Liquitex Prism Violet Gouache. And that's probably enough. Bingo. So. Quick little drink, apologise. Excellent. And apologies again, friends. Just didn't have it, uh, didn't have the swiping tool off the little ring. Uh, this is a Liquitex uh, freestyle swiping tool. It says it's a large knife, number 17. Other ones are available from different companies. So there we go. I'm going to use this nice white CA. Now, I mixed it up a while ago, but as we know from the previous videos and tests that I've done, uh, old CA versus new CA. Um, uh, as long as it hasn't, you know, gotten too thick and dried out too much, old CA works just as great as new CA. And if it has got a little bit thick, all you need to do is just add a few little drops um, of, 
uh, the Floetrol. Uh, my CA here is the Australian Floetrol and Amsterdam White. If it does seem a little bit thick to you, just add a few drops of the Floetrol and then there we go, it should be great. So I am just going to, uh, the board is spinning on its own, I am just going to give it another good stir up because we really need to do this. There you guys, see there you see, that's how much I've poured on. Not a huge amount, and now I'm just going to use the little stir stick just to pat it out. Bingo. Da, 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 da. It does actually seem like quite a lot to me, so I might just let it, you can just let it drip off a little bit, guys. Oh. Just move it around so it's this. Ah, oh, here we go. That's fine. Oh, let's do this. Okay, then, guys. So, even pressure and then just swipe beautifully along, dragging the colors underneath with you. <laughs> now, that was a little bit too light, I guess. <laughs> but hey, like I said, haven't done one of these for a while. Christy's just giggling in my ear. <laughs> It's going to be, oh, thank you, Vanna. Vanna says it's going to be perfect. Bless your heart, Vanna. It will be, Christy says it will be too. <laughs> okay, so, oh, that's working nicely. Anyway, let's just get the same amount of, oh, that was a, not an even pour, but we can just even it out all over the little swiping tool. Just put these bit. Oh, my hands are a little bit dirty, Christy. What are, what are we going to do? Okay, guys, so here we go. Screenshot it, Christy says. So, so let's hope this swipe, this side, works out a little more like we wanted. No, nope, not at all. <laughs> As I've said, I have not used this tool for a little while, but you, again, you can't judge. You can't judge the poor until you've spun it out. You don't know. Vanna, oh, bless you, Vanna. Vanna says it's going to be awesome. So let's just get you guys in a little bit closer. And there you go, guys. The colours are really quite pretty, aren't they? Lovely. So should we just spin this as is and see where it goes, guys? Let me just... Just blowing up, or blowing out, the little areas of cell activator. Here we go, great. So we know these edge bits are probably going to spin off, but in case they don't, let's just make this end bit a little bit interesting. So if we end up with that on the corner, we've still got this little pretty kind of, at least a pretty pattern. There we go. Okie dokie, so it's time to give it a spin. Now, I just keep my finger on the edge of the board, guys, as you can see. Just in case any of the paint makes it, but it's not. <laughs> oh, it's grown beautifully. Right, so I just need to take a little bit of paint off here and just add it to here because I didn't quite put enough down and we want this to roll off nicely. So there we go. That's going to help that part of the design roll off nicely. And I can see we need another little bit here and another little bit here. But this should all be taken care of with the next pour. Uh, sorry, my next pour, next spin. And also, I forgot to wet the edges, didn't I, guys? Sigh, oi, sigh. Wet the edges, wet your edges. Because wetting the edges like this helps the paint flow over the edge nicely down, and you get a nice even coat of paint over the whole canvas. And it helps it dry much better and easier and quicker if it's a little bit thinner because you spun it out. So uh, that was the clockwise, anti-clockwise. Right, on that one I spun a little bit faster and I've got my finger on the board catching any drips as they go over before they get flung around because it's going to hit the cat, it's going to hit Vanna, <laughs> it's going to hit the kitchen and we don't want that. <laughs> Christy's giggling in my ear. Bingo. 
But there we go. <laughs> Not too bad. See, I was wondering how... Oh, bless her. Christy says it looks like eye candy to me. Thank you, Christy. Let me get the light ring off. Well, is, that, awesome. is that better? Oh, bless you, Vanna. Vanna says that's awesome. I love it. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, bless your hearts. So there you go, guys. Oh, I can see lots of messages popping through. Hi there, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Now, let me find a nice little spot. This is why I love the Benjamin, uh, the Benjamin, not Benjamin Moore, the Sherwin Williams. Um, the colour to go is a pillow. Look at the cells we've got over the corner, over the edge. They're absolutely beautiful. And usually when you use the green colour to go, they hold their structure over the edge. So it really creates a really pretty piece. But there you go, my friends. I thought this might happen. Um, or I was hoping I, to avoid uh, the flocculation that we're getting from the nebula. Now, flocculation is where you can see uh, the grey there gets a little bit grainy. And uh, our lovely brother from another mother, Sheldon from Sheldon Briscoe, explained beautifully that it's actually a negative and uh, positive polarity uh, issue, which is what makes the small amounts of mica clump together and form this kind of like, kind of a little bit grainy uh, effect. But I like it anyway. But there we go, my friends. I hope you like it. Let me just turn it around this way, show you this side. Da da da. And there you go, there's a good example of the nebula kind of just getting a little bit grainy. But there's our, our swipe, and we have ended up with negative space, even though I said, no, I don't want it. I want a nice, almost a nice... That's what means it's sexual. Yes, exactly. You know, when you say, I'm going for this, I want this, you know, you can say a prayer, but um, <laughs> heaven help you, really, because, you know, you can make as many provisions to... Uh, uh, get a get an end result favorable to you uh, and it's a very very difficult task to <laughs> to do but excellent here we go we've got lovely coverage over all the areas over all the uh, areas sorry over all of the oh i just lost christy in one ear okay cool that was weird um my phone just uh, had a problem thing um saying that there was an issue and i had to reconnect i hope the stream wasn't lost and we're still broadcasting anyway so it is da, 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 let's just come back up here hi friends so we're at 52:45. oh oh bless you jan bean thank you so much that's so kind of you to send me that super sticker thank you so much that's, that's really lovely of you thank you uh Hi, Tina. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're, there we go. People say, I, I thought it was my device. Yes, it just went down for a minute for some reason. That's, that's a little bit crazy. But there you go, my friends. That was our... Um, oh, yes, let, let's just look quickly. The corner didn't make it actually off so far. So I'm really glad we did the modifications there just on the corner because we still have them, which is really quite pretty. But anyway, yes, I just wanted to mention that. Um, it's always a good idea, you know, usually if you've put enough pillow down, uh, the corners and the edges will spin off and you'll lose anything there. But uh, just in case, in case you're still doubting yourself, uh, that's why I put a little more of the pillow down and then found the goobers in it. Uh, just modify those edges that you didn't swipe in case they stay. And then you've got nice edges to the whole piece. So excellent. Oh. Okay, we have had a question. Deborah Elk would love to see the consistency of my cell activator. It's the white, titanium white, and Australian flow troll. And let me show you. So, it really drizzles off the stick really nicely, and then drips, and you see how it jumps back? Boink. <laughs> so, really, you don't want it to leave a trace or anything like that. Can you see the trace? Well, can you, am I getting a good view of the pot, Christy? Is it? Okay, great, there we go. I was just kind of, da, da, da. no. Excellent, so there you, you can see it. Excellent, Deborah, thank you very much. That's the consistency of the CA. And using the Australian Flow Troll. 
Amsterdam Titanium. Why? I've got a question from Vanna. Oh, Vanna is saying it's five minutes, five minutes. Wrap it up, Frosty. Wrap it up with a chitty chat, chitty chat, chat. So thank you so much, my friends. Quick little drink. We like to wrap up just a few minutes early so you guys have got time to go get a snack, get a drink, maybe a little pee break before we are off to New South Wales with our lovely wombat, uh, Darren brother from another mother, Venom Fluid Art. So thank you guys so much for joining. Let's just have another little look at that little guy. Here he is. And I'll give you another little look at this guy, the one we didn't go over. And maybe if you think it's a good idea, we might use this. I'll throw a coat of resin on it maybe, and uh, we'll use it as a the next prize in our live auction maybe. But there you go, my friends. Thank you so much. Thank you to the darling Vanna. Thank you to the darling Christy, Darren, Bridget, Britt, Sheldon, and Lance. I shall see you guys in their live chats. Thank you so much for joining me. And don't forget, next week, the joy of pouring. Same time, same place, 2 p.m. I will see you there. Thank you to the lovely Vanna too. Mwah. And happy pouring, friends.